So in the last video, we have seen how to take input from user using buffer reader. Now in this video, we'll see how to use scanner. But before that, let's say uh, I, I don't want string, I want integer input. So what we can simply do is this read line will give you as string. So we can actually use a method which is pass int, which will convert your value from string to integer. Okay, so we'll use this with scanner directly so that we'll understand both. Now, so instead of using buffer reader, we can use scanner. So how to use scanner? I have the same, uh, I want the same way, which is taking the input and printing it uh, with hello. Now what we can do is, first we have to fix the imports. We don't want all this uh, extra inputs, not even this close exception. So let me remove this and I have removed all the packages. Now how to use scanner? So for that we have a class called a scanner. So we say control space for the package. So we'll say the package is java.util. Now we'll give sc as name. Again the name can be anything. And we have to say new scanner. Now when, when you work with scanner, okay, scanner will say okay I will give you the output. I will give you the user input. But tell me from where I'll be getting the input. So we have to mention you'll be getting the input from input device which is in object. And this in object belongs to a class which is system. So same like out object we ha as we have seen the last op last code. So you have to say system dot in, and then we have to say str equal to. Now sc will have a method called as next line. Okay, so in, in buffer reader we have to use read line. In uh, scanner we have to use next line. Simple, and then uh, we can just simply run this. Okay, it's waiting for the input. We'll say Navin, and the output is Hello Navin. But just in case, if you have, if you want to take integer, so what we can simply do is, let's say I have integer i, initial value of i is zero, and instead of printing this Hello string, let me print uh, the value of i. So we'll say i is plus i. So if I run this, it will give you the output as zero. But I want to take input from user. So in that scenario. The input you'll be getting is string, so we have to convert that string into integer. So for that, you have to use a method called as pass int, okay? And this pass int method is a static method belongs to a class called as integer. So when you want to convert a thing from string to integer, we have to use integer dot pass int, and in bracket you have to pass the source or the data of string. It will give you integer, so you have to say i. So i equal to integer pass int and then sc dot next line. Let's run this and let's pass a value which is 7. So we'll, the output is i is 7. Simple. But hold on, when, when, you, when you talk about scanner, scanner provides you some extra features. Scanner says if you know your, again, uh, uh, if you know the output, or sorry, the input will be integer. So why to take a string input and then convert into integer? Uh, this is what we have to do it with buffer reader. But uh, the scanner class says for different type of input, I have a different type of methods. So if you know your input will be integer, so instead of using next line, you can actually use next int. You know, sounds much better than the conversion, right? So now if I run this, uh, waiting for the input, we'll say 8 and it says i is 8. Simple, right? So use, working with scanner is much easier than buffer reader. And that's why when you work with, uh, when, you, when you want to take input from user, always prefer to go with uh, this scanner class. And that's it. Now this is how you have to take input from user. So we can use read method, we can use buffer reader, or we can use scanner. Okay. So that's it from this video. Uh, so for the further videos, do subscribe. If you have liked this video, so there's a thumbs up button, click on it. And thank you so much for watching.